Dette er ikke akkurat noe vi har, det er åtte nordre slakta røyr. Som vi tar av landet her, det er bare enda nordre slakta røyr. Og her er det blåe bare klasjen her. Her flyter blåe i sjålen, ikke akkurat. These are the Faroe Islands, a small archipelago in the North Atlantic. This autonomous country in the Kingdom of Denmark has stark fjords, the population of only 50,000, and centuries of history. There is little agriculture here, so the Faroese have always relied on the ocean to survive. Yet one of their oldest traditions has attracted criticism from many around the world. Faroese call it the Grind, a pilot whale slaughter that usually takes place in the summer but has no set date or set season. The word Grind can refer to the act of the hunt, the whale meat, or the whales themselves. The tradition has endured for nearly 1,000 years, but in recent times has been challenged by animal rights activists who claim the practice is inhumane. A grin can happen at any moment. So far this summer, there hasn't been a grin. I'm uh, Martin. I live here in uh, Eintarfjör. Practically all the fish we eat, uh, I, I fish myself. Well, the grin, it's a tradition that I don't want to die. Ferry's survival has relied on, on uh, whales. Whale hunting in, in, uh, in the Faroes is very old. There's not much else here, as you can see. There are no, no, uh, no forests, uh, not much of, of uh, wildlife. Uh, well, we only have sheep. And otherwise, we have to rely on, on the sea. Whatever the sea can bring us, fish uh, and whales. It's not just for tradition or for a show or whatever, or for uh, our own pleasure. It is for food. That's the reason we, we kill them. Many Faroese across the islands proudly defend the tradition. I was 14 years old the first time I um, killed a whale. And I was taught by an old baker in my village. He said to me, Hakne, you come here, I'll teach you how to cut the throat of a whale. And I was quite good at it, actually. It's always been in the Faroe Islands like that. Uh, the ability to hunt has been passed from one generation to another. But that is not the same anymore. The world is going through an urbanization. And we are also a part of that urbanization and the values imposed on us. It makes you, me feel a bit sad, actually. It really does. It's more honest to go out in the oceans and provide the food that you need. It doesn't make sense for me to buy a carrot that's been sailed on a ship thousands of miles. I think that it's good to hunt some pilot whales instead of doing something that is only pretending to be organic. The green is barbaric. It's beyond barbaric when you kill an entire group, an entire family of highly sentient and conscious beings. Sea Shepherd is a marine conservation organization. The objective is stopping the green, defend the whales this summer while we are here. My name is Lamia Isamledi. I'm the leader of the offshore crew here in the Faroe Islands for the Green Stop campaign. And I'm also president of Sea Shepherd France. During the summer of 2014, 
hundreds of Sea Shepherd volunteers from around the world descended upon the Faroe Islands to attempt to stop the Grind. They called their campaign Operation Grindstop. If we were to see pilot whales, we would um, try to make sure that they don't come anywhere close to uh, Hunting Bay. We spotted pilot whales in the fjord, but the forest people might drive them uh, in a green. Sea Shepherd tries to drive the whales back out to the open sea. Many people here tell us that uh, this is not the main threat on pilot whales, and it's true. Pollution, uh, overfishing, the global warming, those factors kill much more whales than the green itself. But at the same time, those are things that are very difficult to stop. What's happening here is something that's easy to stop in a way. It's a matter of will. If we cannot stop willingly killing pilot whales, I don't see how we have any chance to stop the accidental slaughter that's being provoked by all the human actions. Bah non, tout va bien. My worst fear is that a green happens while we're here. Our main objective is to find the whales before they do. Another day without a ring. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> awesome, you guys. We stayed with the pilot whales for a while until they actually got away from the fjord. Now they are back out and uh, they are safe. Out of the ferries, people can act the whale killers at least. Pilot whales are very, um, very social creatures. They have very strong bonds with each other. When they are being driven to, to a killing bay, they wouldn't leave the ones that are injured, they wouldn't abandon them. Because of those strong bones, they all die. The killing itself is not the worst part of it. The worst is actually for the last whale to die because that whale has seen all her family die and they are drowning in each other's blood. This is the worst thing in the green. As Sea Shepherd's campaign continues, tensions begin to mount across the islands. You have no business in our islands. Well, that's your opinion. Yeah. You're entitled to it, but we Next have the right year, to be you're not here. coming into this country. Okay, you 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 are out. not activists. You are terrorists. Okay, that's your opinion. Fuck you. <laughs> Thank you. I don't think you're doing Fuck any. You. You're not doing any good to you. You have no right to be here. Meanwhile, the Faroese feel the ire of Sea Shepherd's vast army of online supporters. Are you proud of yourself for sitting on a whale? You should be ashamed of yourself supporting those murder, you stupid fuck. They come here sitting and watching for a bloody wall, uh, whale war every day, but there is no thing like that. We have a lot of animals here. And we, we kill them then ourselves. A lot of people living in big countries, they uh, go to the grocery and they see a picture of a smiling pig or something like that and they buy it and they think it comes from a smiley pig. That's not the reality, it's a pig standing in a fucking iron cage in all its life. And this whale has had a long good life and then we kill it. I think that's more humane than having a cow never seen sunlight or a grass field or anything like that. So tell me, what are we? I'm leaving. Pop, moon, up, moon, ultra up, the other main job, and the very way. The Grind has always been non commercial. No one in the Faroes is a whaler by profession. We have a lot of people who are in the Grind. The Grind is a lot of people who are in the Grind. We have a lot of people who are in the Grind. We have a lot of people who The Faroes strive to ensure the sustainability of the Grind and don't hunt every pod they see. The Faroese have kept detailed records of the Grind for as long as it's been done. It's the oldest unbroken hunting statistic of any wild animal. The meat is distributed according to a highly regulated system among the hunters and the people in the town where the Grind occurs. The Grind is legal in the Faroe Islands. 
Despite being under Danish rule, the Faroes are not part of the European Union, and therefore European whaling restrictions do not apply. All the regulations and law on Grint is Faroes law. The Danish parliament can't interfere with that in any way. Grint is a part of a much bigger, bigger picture also. So we only have the sea to depend on. We, we can't accept that the world goes in a direction that we can't use those resources. That's as simple as that. To put things in perspective, the Faroe Islands has a population of just under 50,000. Paul Watson, the founder of Sea Shepherd, has over half a million followers on Facebook alone. We don't give a damn about people's cultures or race or ethnicity or their nationality. If you kill whales illegally, we're going to oppose you. Not surprisingly, the Faroese feel underrepresented in the online debate surrounding their lifestyle. Specifically Sea Shepherd, they give a completely wrong picture of, of us. It looks uh, brutal and there's a lot of blood in the sea, but it's, it's only emotions. And they use it to, 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 uh, to gather money. They can throw that around, they always throw that around, but uh, I'm not making any money on this at all. Anything that involves cruelty and uh, slaughter should not be part of anybody's culture. The new trend is buy local, eat local. We hunt it local and eat it lo eat local foods. That, that, that must be uh, very close to perfect, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> now you're lying. Oh, they're undercover. They are undercover. It's okay. We don't, we don't try to kill Grant. We just kill Grant to eat. We have to eat something, huh? You know what? As the Faroese wait patiently for a grin, Sea Shepherd keeps a vigilant watch for whales. I am uh, willing to die to save a whale, or a dolphin, sea turtle, tuna. I'm willing to die to save animals. I've been following Sea Shepherd for a while now. I've been following them on Facebook, Twitter, um, on their website, uh, also on the series they put on TV. I've been here for, this is my sixth day, and uh, it was easy to go here, and I didn't have to be like afraid to go in a Russian prison, like we heard about with the Greenpeace ship. <laughs> We're here in Midvago and uh, we got the information that this killing beach, it's not uh, in use anymore. I want to get some sand from this beach as souvenir. This is the campaign jacket for this year and if you see the rock there, that's exactly the rock in front that you're seeing across there. Dramatic. The Sea Shepherd volunteers are excited by a visit from a well-known supporter. Pamela Anderson's coming. <laughs> you're excited I'm not here. Oh. How are you? Hi. Barbara. Nice to see you. How long have you been out here today? Oh, we've been out here since... 8 o'clock? Okay. Yeah. 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 These guys have to um, make sure if they spot any whales that obviously they can either bring them in here or they can take them down the fjord. Um, so this is a very dangerous spot for us just because they're so close to the open ocean. Right. And, and this um, is where you'd be yeah. really good to spot them before they do. Yeah. Because, you know, they're telling me how it's not for entertainment and not for... But it's like that rush, like that dopamine kind of blast. It's like what people get from those violent video games and you cannot deny sexual, that. weird... Yeah. It's a weird stuff. Like, I keep on so worrying about kids that are doing this, the Grand Theft Auto or whatever. Like, what do they think normal, you know, relationships are? Like, pretty soon, you know, you're hurting animals, you're killing people. I just think it's... Sea Shepherd set up a press conference with Pam Anderson to open a face-to-face -face debate with the Faroese on the issue of the Grind. And there's so few um, brutal um, things like this happening in the world that I think that this is just the bullfight of the sea. So I, I don't understand if it's not for consumption, it's not a commercial uh, industry, that it's, um, you know, that, that it's not for survival then what is it? What is it for? Is it, is it feels a bit, a bit like a sport. It is for consumption, and I thought I would bring something to you, but I think it would not be appropriate. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> but, I'm vegan. Uh, you mentioned bullfight. No one here in the Faroe Islands, or any hunter, would like to call it bullfight. Paul Watson, the leader of the Sea Shepherd, has described us as Nazis. How is your attitude to that? He's a very passionate man. 
He's very poetic. He's trying to explain in a, in a poetic way and also a, 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 in a way that people can maybe respond to. I haven't met one person in the entire world that thinks this is cool. It's just a primitive... So um, I, are, you, are you calling the people of the Fair Islands primitive or...? This specific thing is very yeah. barbaric. The Faroese fiercely defend their right to live off the natural resources of their islands. But the tradition of the Grind might be endangered for reasons unrelated to Sea Shepherd's activism. The Faroe Islands are paying a high price for the human pollution of the seas. For every gram of pilot whale meat, you find two micrograms of metal mercury. This is quite a serious uh, uh, pollution. Dr. Paul Vai has conducted a study on the Faroese population examining subjects from birth to determine effects of mercury from eating grind. He follows up on his subjects in regular tests throughout their lives. And we saw mercury had a negative impact on their memory, reaction time, language. So we made the recommendation to stop eating pilot whale meat and blah, blah. <laughs> Asa has been a subject in Dr. Vai's study since before she was born. She is of the Faroese minority who believes the grind should end due solely to health concerns. I don't eat well myself and my mercury levels were like really low because I haven't eaten it. And I don't think there's anything wrong in how we do it because it's humane and it's sustainable and everything. But because it's not food anymore, then I don't see any point in doing it. This uh, black part here, this is the meat. Well, the blubber almost doesn't freeze, so you can take it out of the freezer straight away and uh, it's edible. Huh? I don't whale consumption has been a part of our society for hundreds of years. And I've been a whale myself when I was a young man, and sometimes you have to give things up. Mm. The weekly recommended uh, amount is around what we just ate there. And pregnant women shouldn't eat it at all. A lot of people uh, reacted in, in a way that they said, well, we don't want to eat it anymore. After a long summer of anticipation, whales are finally spotted near the southern island of Sandoy.
as I turn into the bay, I'm here to, to save the whales, but at the moment the Navy boat arrived and they arrived at full speed behind us, went at full speed trying to get away, but they eventually uh, managed to arrest us. What we have seen there was that there was a big crowd of various people. Uh, some of them were just clapping ironically at us. Uh, some of them, uh, most of them were laughing. Most of them were happy that we got arrested. And at that moment, I, I was really close to actually yeah, cry, I can say it. And I was thinking, you know that the world is upside down for several reasons, but at this point, you really, it's clear. You know, it's the ones who are trying to save lives are handcuffed and arrested by the police and the ones who are killing animals are free to do so and protected by the Danish uh, government. After the whales are pulled to shore, the community comes together to divide the harvest. <laughs> and then they uh, tell how many people divided and the boats were found to get more. And so. These records of the Grand will join the others in the archives. The whales are brought into the warehouse where they are gutted and cleaned. Teeth samples are taken for scientific studies. The locals and the hunters gather to butcher the whales and systematically divide the meat among each family. Thirty-three whales died in this grind, far less than in previous years. This was the only grind of the summer. Very nice steak. Grindabuff. This you can do anything. Yeah. Fry it, oven, grill. Yeah. This is pure epicness. The sea Shepherd all got caught. I was like, fuck yeah, I'm gonna shout victory and open a bottle of champagne. This one's really I got so much blood on my hands. Someone says there were savages that killed endangered species that animals. It's it's just yeah, it's just, oh it's such a bad lie. If the whales were really endangered, they would stop. Yeah. Fry it on slow heat, should be good. Facebook is being spammed. Bye bye, Sea Shepherd. <laughs> Pictures of Sea Shepherd being arrested. Welcome to hell. Apparently this is us. So much hate yeah. from both sides, it's incredible. The Sea Shepherd volunteers spend the night in jail. They're charged with the offense of interfering in the grind. I don't think there's anything I could have done differently. We were six people against a crowd that was basically possessed. I've never seen anything like it. It was just absolute and utter bloodlust. 
I know that we drove whales away and that those whales may have been killed if we hadn't. The figures speak for themselves. Uh, 1,300 whales died last year, uh, starting June to September, 33 this year. From what I can read in social media, and that they would think that there are 45,000 barbarians here, which is really not the case. People here are among the most hospitable people that I've ever met. Even some of the guys who kill whales are very nice people. I still think uh, that the green is barbarian and useless, but I may have changed my perception of why it goes on. I think that the majority of the people who do it just do it out of habit, and it goes back centuries. There are so many traditions here, and I'm just hoping that the day will come where the fairies people will realize that um, it doesn't make them less fairies to drop this one. The young people especially, they got really interested in Grint now. Now we have something to, uh, I wouldn't say fight for, but we have uh, a common enemy, you know? We are forgetting what it is to be Faroese. We live so far away from everything else. We live in the middle of nowhere. To me, I, I think it's important to remember where, where we're from and, and uh, what we are. The things that we are seeing is maybe kind of a symptom that the urban way of uh, morality is like being imposed upon a lot of uh, smaller cultures in the world. And why that is, I don't know, maybe because of globalization and things like that. I look down here and I see out to the ocean here on the east side here. And if I was lucky, I would uh, spot a pot of whales and uh, would go out on the boat or participate in the, in the killing at the, down at the beach here. And I can see my house. I can see the, the old hospital where I was born in 1968. And I can see the graveyard where I'm going to be, probably be laid to rest. Everything I need is within the sight of the eye.